Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today to celebrate the graduation of the Distinguished Class of 2020. I'm Mata Mogadam, Director of New Research Initiatives at the Viterbi School and a Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering. I'm pleased to host you in today's reception. This is a historic and unprecedented event. It's historic because we're celebrating your achievements on the 115th anniversary of our engineering school. Uh, the school was founded in 1905. It's unprecedented because, well, clearly we've never uh, had been forced to hold a graduation ceremony over Zoom because of the pandemic. Regardless of our situation today, uh, your journey has truly been extraordinary. Over the past four years, you have intellectually and academically stretched yourselves as never before, including, I imagine, the occasional sleepless night spent in a lab or a library, ordering the two for one pizza special at 2 a.m., but hopefully not being so pressed for time that you'd grab a pair of socks from the laundry basket. Uh, as we gather here today, however, know that all of that was worth it. You are joining the pantheon of USC Viterbi graduates, whose members include Neil Armstrong, the first human to walk on the moon, Andrew Viterbi, the namesake of our school, who created the Viterbi algorithm and is the co-founder of the tech giant Qualcomm the Apple co-founder, Mike Markola, and so many more. I can't wait to add your names to that impressive list for the work that you will do in academics, business, technology, science, or in any chosen field. Your work will surely be noteworthy. Your experience, your drive, your diverse backgrounds, and your intelligence will lead you down some amazing paths. You have made all of us proud, and we can't wait to see how you change the world going forward. I must admit that it feels, uh, it feels odd celebrating with you remotely over a computer screen, recording on Zoom rather than in person. Obviously, this isn't how any of us envisioned this day. But my feelings remain the same. I can't think of a group of students better suited to flourish and to make profound contributions in these turbulent times. As engineers, you will tackle the greatest challenges of our time, ranging from making solar energy more economical to providing access to clean water for all, from reverse engineering the, uh, the brain to finding a vaccine for COVID-19. So as you prepare to do incredible things, please take a moment and reminisce about your time spent here at USC. All of the knowledge you amassed during your years at USC Viterbi all of the deep personal connections you made, all of your helpful mentors, all of the confidence you have gained. And don't forget to acknowledge your parents, families, and friends who I'd venture uh, had a huge role in all of this. And none of this may have been possible without their loving support. Congratulations to every one of you. You are bound for glory and you are forever Trojans. Fight on. So now I'd like to ask Kelly Goulis to say a few words. Kelly is the Senior Associate Dean of our Office of Viterbi Admissions and Student Engagement, or VASE, which combines admissions and student affairs for both undergraduate and graduate students. Kelly has held a number of administrative positions at USC Viterbi, including Director of the Information Technology Program, Executive Director of our top-ranked DEN at Viterbi Program, and Senior Associate Dean of Graduate and Professional Programs. Please welcome Kelly Goulis. Thank you, Mata. Hello, everyone. I am so excited to congratulate the class of 2020 and welcome their family and friends from around the world through the power of technology. To our Mork Family Department of Chemical Engineering and Materials Science graduates, you are officially USC Viterbi alumni, and I can promise you that that is significant. You are now part of an esteemed, inspirational, and high-achieving group, one that has generous members from around the world a group that looks out for each other, a group that knows what it means to have a USC degree. You've probably heard plenty of people this week or in the past few months really, so that they feel bad for the class of 2020 because commencement day is not what they imagined when they came here four years ago. All that I can say to that is that you've shown them what it means to adapt. You have shown them what it means to be mature. And most importantly, you have shown them what it means to be a Trojan, able to shift gears and face every challenge. I also wanna say something that you don't always hear from administrators like me. I will miss you. We will miss you. The past few months have taught us a few things about ourselves as educators, but the biggest thing I've learned is that your class is the tightest. 
the most resilient students which I've ever had the distinct honor of working with. I have heard it over and over from our faculty, our staff, and fellow alumni. You took things in stride and handled all of this with an understanding that speaks volumes for who you are. So, as one of the strange, strange phases of your life come to an end and another one begins, to, another exciting beginning starts, just remember that you will always hold a unique place in our school's impressive history and in our hearts. Congratulations on this very special day and fight on. Welcome students, family, and friends. I'm John Mork and it's my distinct pleasure to join you to celebrate our 2020 graduates from the Department of Chemical Engineering and Material Science here at USC. Today comes with so much change, uncertainty, and emotions. All things you have mastered while at USC. With so much change, I wanna mention perspective. And that perspective is you are the best of the best. You have received the best educational experience while at USC. You and your classmates were at the top to get into USC and then you partnered, competed, and excelled with outstanding fellow students and professors. Truly the competition at USC allowed you to rise to the highest levels. You are ready for the world. You are ready to excel, indeed conquer the world. Your Viterbi engineering degree will open a world of opportunity for you. You have shined at Viterbi, but learned so much more at USC. You learned math and science to plan your time and probably how to plan good parties. You may have entered USC worried about grades, but as you leave, you have become lifelong learners and made lifelong friends. Don't ever lose those friends or that passion for learning. I wanna praise your parents who've invested their lives in you and will miss an in-person celebration of your success. But this is an instant in time. Shortly, the coronavirus will only be a memory and your life will take off at rocket speed. Today is not a finish, but a start. A start that will lead to unexpected places. A start that will lead to challenges and thrilling solutions. A start that will lead to success and happiness, whatever path you take. You are full members of the Trojan family. This connection with you is very meaningful to me and I'm honored to applaud such outstanding, gifted, inquisitive, and creating Trojans. Your experience and efforts have prepared you for excellence. The knowledge you gained has started you on the path to wisdom and will be with you forever. So my challenge to you is this, be curious, be mindful, be kind. While you have seen firsthand that everything can shift in an instant, your passion and your commitment should never waver. Fellow Trojans, congratulations and fight on. Good afternoon to everyone. I'm Michael Kastner, department chair, and I'd like to add my congratulations to this amazing class of 2020. What a long, strange trip it's been, to be sure, but nothing can take away from your achievements, your lifelong friends, the relationships you have made with your professors, all the work you did, some of it late into the evenings, and of course, this monumental accomplishment. First, I simply want to thank our graduates. I have always thought that the mark of any noble individual is how they handle adversity. And considering what we have all gone through, what you have gone through during the past months, you have been role models, not just to other students, but to our faculty, administration, alumni, and to all the members of our Trojan family. How you handled this is simply remarkable. Every one of us was heartbroken that the traditional ceremonies were not going to be part of today's agenda. However, an amazing thing happened once we learned what indeed was going to happen. People came together, supported, helped each other, and look where we are. We are celebrating together in different countries, from cities small and large. It's wonderful to see. I also want to celebrate all of the families that are here today. You are the reason this day exists. You have been supportive, helpful, present, and everything that happens from this day forward will happen in large part because of you. So thank you. 
As we are all seeing firsthand, today is certainly different, but it's still very special for outstanding 2020 graduates. Even more special than we expected, and I can't wait to see what you all do next. And lastly, before I go, I'd like to introduce our executive committee, who also would like to share a few words. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Ted Lee, and I am the Associate Chair for Undergraduate Programs in the Mork Family Department. I wanted to share a few final thoughts with our undergraduates before they entered into the real world. It was just four years ago that our journey together began with that fateful question, what do chemical engineers do? I told you on that first day that chemical engineers are the world's best optimizers of complex and chaotic processes. What could be more chaotic than this semester? You've probably heard a lot of talk today about the Trojan family. I just wanted to say that that is not an overstatement. My children would live with me for 18 years. You guys were here with us for four. We held your hands as you learned how to do your first unit conversions, and we watched with pride and a little trepidation as you learned how to drive a chemical plant. Never forget that we will be here for you, whether you need a recommendation letter, some friendly advice, or simply a place to donate your riches. We will always be here. Now, while I have your attention, there's one last lesson I would like to give, and it's a simple one, and it's the same one I teach my children at home. Be nice. Be nice to each other and take care of each other. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Noel Monstead, the Associate Chair for Graduate Programs at the Mork Family Department. I wanted to say some things to acknowledge the time that we've spent as faculty with our graduating master's and PhD students. To our newly minted master's degree holders, we know that you've put in a tremendous effort during your time in the Mork Family Department, studying through four semesters of challenging classes. Now is the time to savor what you accomplished and take what you learned at USC into what's sure to be an amazing career. To our PhD graduates, all of us in the faculty understand the unique struggles of graduate research and the massive amount of work that goes into building a dissertation. You now know more about the particular subject of your research than any other person in the world, you're joining an elite group of people who can say, I got my PhD at USC. Say it proudly. Hi, I'm Malantra Gupta, and I'm the director of the Chemical Engineering Program. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're proud of your achievements and excited to see how you use your newly acquired tool sets to tackle some of humanity's most challenging problems. Chemical engineers are uniquely suited to combine molecular design and scalability to make the world a better place by tackling sustainability issues, including plastic pollution and water scarcity, as well as current healthcare problems, such as vaccine and diagnostic development. Congrats again, and good luck on your future journey. I am Steve Nutt, Director of the Material Science Program. Congratulations. You're about to receive your degree, a document that represents the culmination of years of efforts, both yours and those of your parents. The skills and knowledge that you've mastered here will become like tools in your toolbox, a kit that you'll take with you as you embark on your career. Along the way, you'll face myriad problems, and when you do, you'll reach into your toolbox and use the tools you've acquired here to build solutions and solve those problems. And here's the neat thing about those tools. No one can ever take them away from you. So as Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, Use what you have, do what you can. Dear MFD graduates, in these hard times uh, as a faculty, I join your family and friends in honoring and celebrating your successful effort that has culminated in degrees that you have so rightly earned from the Mork Family Department at USC. As you know, engineering innovations help many industries, including the medical field. I wish you a rewarding professional career in making your contribution to advance the progress of civilization. Congratulations. Thank you, Michael, and all of the members of the executive committee. I'd like to now share one more special message for you all from some of our alumni and friends. Dear Viterbi Engineering, class of 2020, on behalf of all of us, USC alumni at Microsoft, Congratulations. You successfully endured a technically rigorous engineering curriculum mentored by the highest quality educators in the country. 
We expect you, like Yana says, to go out in the world and make a difference. You have already accomplished so much, and I know that myself and others are excited to see what's in store for you next. This is the beginning of a new and adventurous chapter in your life that will take you to all corners of the globe and open your eyes to all the opportunities that you have to plant your seed in this ever-changing world. I started using my USC Viterbi degree 41 years ago when I graduated and started my career. Now you're prepped and primed for phase two. You hold new set of rules, go get them. I know what you're thinking. What the heck am I graduating into? I know it's a weird time right now with everything that's going on, but now more than ever, does the world need awesome engineering talent to help make the world and our universe a better place. Well, these are challenging times, but times like this make us tougher. Times like this teach us valuable lessons. You are about to enter a world that desperately needs your talents and your creativity. Continue to stay strong. This won't be the last challenge that you face, but having gone through this and thriving will give you the aptitude and the resilience to accomplish anything that you want in your life. You can enjoy a lifetime of practicing unfounded innovation. As Einstein said, logic will get you from A to Z. Imagination will get you everywhere. Take the time to really celebrate your success. You are just starting your journey. You have been preparing, and now is the time for you to seize the opportunities that are surely to arise. Because of your strength and tenacity that enabled you to navigate these challenging times, I know that my generation can count on this class to safeguard the health of the planet and to ensure a better future for generations to come. I'm assuming that because you chose one of the hardest degrees as your major, that you're up for a challenge. So I challenge you to keep pushing boundaries. Think big. Dream big. You're also empowered with a network of connections to Trojans across the world, alumni and colleagues, all of whom wish to see you succeed and to be happy. So have confidence in yourself, stay inspired, and know that the Trojan Network always has your back. But the most important lesson that you've learned is this. You're now equipped to take on the big problems of the world. You already have the passion and the vision to create a new and inspiring future. You'll be in a position to make meaningful contributions to how we recover from this crisis. And not only rebuild what was lost, but really reinvent how we live and work. And I can't wait to see the difference that you're going to make in this world. But if we, as human beings, focus on a problem and really put our all into it, put our effort, all of our effort, our, our resources, and all of our know-how. We could do anything, okay? And that's the true legacy of Apollo. People still have a hard time believing that we actually went to the moon. We did, by the way. <laughs> At my graduation, our commencement speaker challenged us to be lifelong learners. And that's my advice to you as you graduate. Whatever you do, never stop learning. Attain new knowledge and wisdom. And embrace your failures as an opportunity to learn and grow. And don't forget where you came from. Fight on, Trojans. Congratulations. Fight, Fight, on. On. Fight, on. Fight 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 on. Well, today is certainly one of the more remarkable days in the history of this university and USC Viterbi. But it should come as no surprise to anyone here that adapting in the face of adversity is what engineers do best. And indeed, you've done just that. With a new reality upon us, every single man and woman who has completed his or her degree has seen what it's like to face mountains and scale them like a true Trojan. Like everyone in the world, today's graduates have been through quite a bit during the last few months. But we all knew that nothing was going to stop you from this meaningful and monumental day. We're all immensely proud of the way you have handled things. And again, although today is not what you had in mind, what's important is that we celebrate your outstanding achievements, your bright futures, and your new responsibilities ahead. Engineers change the world, and you are ready to do just that. Enjoy your day. Congratulations. And again, fight on forever.
Thank you all for joining us today. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and fight on.